I got a bag of chips because crisis management involves a lot of eating salty, crunchy things. I'm going to take those back to the office. The Governor Jay Inslee makes his announcement at 3 o'clock. We'll see what it is this time. I don't know what's left. They've already closed all the restaurant dining areas, the bars, the gyms, the hair salons, the nail salons. And so I, I'm not really sure what's next. So far, both my husband and Jerry and I are still at work. I work in essential services in administration. I can totally work from home, but so far they've made everybody at the agency still come on site. That's looking like it's changing this afternoon. And then my husband works in the world's largest building, manufacturing airplanes, and they're all still in close proximity to each other, all working side by side, groups of 300 stuff like that during day shift. So we're going to see what happens at three o'clock. I will update you when I get off work and I've lost my cord and my charger for this camera. So when the battery goes, I guess we're going to be filming on something else. I cannot find it. All right. See you in a minute. And there was nothing exciting in the governor's announcement. All same old, same old. Um, but my work finally came out with the application form to work from home. So I'm going to be working on turning that in and getting it signed today to see if I can start working from home. I'll still have to go into the office one morning a week to get, you know, the mail and stuff that has to be done in paper. But I've got everything else set up electronically. So I'm hoping that comes through. Today, the head count of people with the that I know is four, three friends I used to go to church with and one friend that I was in a book club with. And the one friend, one of my, one of the friends is younger than me and one of them is my age. So get a little bit scarier today. Don't feel like being in the office. Fortunately, within my six foot radius yesterday were two people. So hopefully I can keep it at that. I counted seven Amazon trucks that passed me this morning. They have the going through Amazon now, so don't know if my packages are safe. It's just, um, it's a weird time. Oh yeah, and I'm going to have to cut the words out, you know, all of that, because YouTube's been blocking and demonetizing those videos. And they sent out a tweet saying that there's going to be more of that because they're using a bot because their people are working from home and they don't have full staff. So it's a weird, weird time. And just like that, everything has changed for me. Went into work today. Three chiefs and a director had put work from home. I took that as a sign that they might know more about what's going on and they don't want to be there. So... My coworker and I filled out the paperwork and submitted it to my boss and she accepted it. I am home for the next month. I have to go by the office every Tuesday morning. But other than that, gosh, oh my God, that, look at that thing. It's too heavy. Oh, anyway, so I'm going home. Well, this is becoming a car vlog. Not that it was meant to be, it's just, you know, everything else is contagious. And now it is raining. I was going to show you how downtown is, but it's pouring buckets. And I happen to be in the only busy section. It's just the way it worked out. There's um, a couple restaurants open. They're not allowed to seat customers, but they can take grab-and-go food. This corner seeing a few uh, Grubhub and Uber Eats drivers coming in and out picking up food things got real a couple days ago i started working from home on friday and i asked my husband to start working from home so he works in the world's largest building you can guess where that is and they had 10 cases and finally they had a fatality so when someone actually died from the where he works they finally shut down. So I think that was Monday they announced they were going to close on Wednesday. And then Tuesday the governor came out and said non-essentials for the entire state are closed. And what is non-essential you may ask? Well, 
Let's review this by going through my family member's current state of employment. Number one, my husband, who obviously got sent home on Wednesday, however, we kept him home up until then. Since I wasn't going to work and getting exposed, I didn't want him going to work and getting exposed. He was essential, but now non-essential. So he was in transportation and military production, which they decided themselves to not be essential. Then myself, who works in nonprofit medical care, um, that is essential. So I am working from home full time. I'm working as hard as I've ever worked, as many hours as I've ever worked. I am busy as a bee. I thought, ooh, this would be great. I'll have lots of extra time. I'll post lots of videos. I have no extra time. I'm just working my butt off from home. My commute is six minutes. So I've shaved six minutes each way off my day. But that is it. So I've gained a whole six minutes. And I've stopped doing my hair. You know, because I'm at home. So I have all these meetings. Oh, well. And I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. Anyhow, uh, not what I would usually wear to work. So I'm essential, working from home. Then my oldest works in a music store. Non-essential. He is uh, going, yeah, he's applied for unemployment. He is not working. He was working from home till they shut down all the retail. So he is not working. My middle child works in a hotel. That is shelter. Shelter is essential. So he is working his behind off. He is one of the last staff still at the hotel. So he's getting plenty of time and hours and work to do. And then my youngest who lives at home, my darling daughter, or what was it? My wonderful daughter. She is laid off of work because she worked in a school and all the schools have been closed for quite a while now. So she doesn't have a job. So it's not a good time to look for a job either. Like there are a lot of people in unemployment right now and they're boosting unemployment. So that's good. That's a little more money. Uh, my oldest son has side hustle. So he's going to work his side hustles and see what he can make come open. And my daughter has side hustles. So she's working those too. I had a doctor's appointment last week on Friday and it was awesome. She had to make it by phone, which means she called me 15 minutes early and was off the phone in seven minutes. Seven minutes. Like, if only every doctor's appointment went that way. I want those from now on. I hope the insurance companies accept them after the crisis is over because, you know, she could do 10 phone calls in an hour and that's a lot of business. Like, that's really cool. And she told me the signs of infection. I, it's my toe. I hurt my toe. And she told me the signs of infection. So I know to come in if it's real. But, you know, it's not getting worse. And she told me how to treat it. It's getting better. So she doesn't really need a face-to-face. -face. We don't need to exchange germs. How are you guys doing? I mean, the, by the time I post this, the whole crisis is going to be over. So how did you do? How did you do through it? Um, Someone posted today that this is about grief. And it sure is. When you watch two family members lose their jobs. And I know a lot of people sick with this. And I have two that I know that are in the hospital. And one of them may not make it. That's a lot of grief. Like, this thing is really real to me. This is not imaginary. This isn't... Uh, ethereal. This isn't a concept to me. This is a real thing. And so, yeah, see, I don't even want to make eye contact with you. It's just hard. It's hard. How'd you cope? What'd you do to get through? I had to go pick up a prescription. That's why I'm out and about. It is Jerry's birthday on Sunday. Uh, it's going to be wacky. Under the circumstances, all the birthdays are weird. And so, I guess I'll take a little more video and show you what it's like downtown and um okay so guys this is the cutest thing ever this is so cute there's a ramen place out front and we're not allowed to eat inside so this little kid is like taking slurps of ramen outside of the restaurant it's adorable it's really adorable the poor kids with no school and the seniors their whole senior year is all messed up
are you home? I am home. Aren't we all always home? <laughs> Where else would I be? Yes. Anyway, can you come out on your porch and wave at me? I'm um in your alley. I'm in the alley. The extroverts. See? See? Here's my mom. Let me see. Let me see. There she is. And the second I get there, it starts like pouring buckets of rain. This is not meant to be. Look at my glasses. Can you come out on your balcony and wave at me? Because I'm in front of your house. I had to go pick up a prescription. <laughs> Social distancing. <laughs> ah, there you are. Hi, honey. I love you. Hi, honey. I love you. That's not embarrassing at all, is it? To, uh, you know, have your own apartment across town and be, you know, almost 30 and your mother drives by to wave at you because we're social distancing. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I used to have breakfast with my boys whenever I could pull it off on a Saturday, but you can't, you can't do that right now. There's no place to have it. If we have them over, they're just gonna germ all over everything. Okay, the extroverts are suffering. <laughs> Not like being sick, but this is hard. This is really hard. Oh, my God. 